You know you're officially old when your mailbox get more Medicare ads than your email gets spam about hot singles in your area. I'm Tom Hathaway, 79 years young, and right now, my dining room table looks like a Medicare Advantage bomb went off. If your kitchen table looks like this every fall, welcome to Medicare season. By the way, if you like practical tips like this that make Medicare season a little less painful, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and add your comments. It helps more folks our age find this kind of help. So this year I tried something different. Instead of drowning in paper and legalese, I fed the whole mess into Google's Notebook LM and asked it to explain this stuff in plain English, preferably before I lose my coffee. And it worked. Not perfectly, AI isn't magic. But it turned a stack of confusing documents into answers I could actually use. Which plan covers what? What these premium charges really mean? Where the gotchas are hiding in fine print? So here's what we're doing today. I'm going to show you exactly how to use Notebook LM to make sense of your own Medicare paperwork. Upload your documents, ask the right questions, and get answers in plain English. This is particularly relevant this year because of the big, beautiful bill that impacted Medicare and healthcare in general. This isn't theoretical, by the way. I'm using the actual mailers sitting on my table right now. Same confusion you're dealing with. Same questions. And no, you won't need your grandkid on speed dial. If you can upload a file and type a question or speak a question, you can do this. Let's dig in. Head to notebooklm.google.com. If you've never used this before, it's like having a research assistant who actually read all of those documents you meant to read. Unlike me, who just pretends I read the terms and conditions. As you can see on the screen, I've already used it a lot because it is one of my favorite AI tools. So we'll start a new notebook. Click that plus sign like you're adding another year to your age, except this time something good happens. That gets you to the Add Sources page, which is Notebook LM's invitation to the world of research magic. As you can see, there are many ways of loading data into Notebook LM, but the one I want to use today is the Discover Sources feature. That'll give me some sources that are vetted and declared legit by Google. Now, since I'm obviously interested in getting help with Medicare, I'm going to want to introduce Notebook LM to the Medicare vocabulary. For that, I'm going to start by asking for documents like the 2026 Medicare Handbook from Medicare.gov. And as you can see, Notebook LM goes to the web searching for legitimate sources that match my request. The first one it suggests is Medicare and You Handbook 2026, exactly what I was looking for. Notebook LM's Discover Sources feature currently returns 10 results. To avoid adding a bunch of stuff that's not related to my quest, I'm unchecking the Select All Sources option and selecting the one that I really want. However, in scrolling down, I see another document, How Are Medicare Costs and Benefits Changing for 2026? from the site medicaresources.org. I'm going to grab that one as well. Now, after careful consideration, I decide those are the two main documents I need, so I click the Import button. And as you can see, in less than 15 seconds, Notebook LM has not only loaded both documents, but even created a quick summary explaining what is in the documents I loaded. Classy. Now, here's where it gets personal. Those government documents give you the big picture, but your actual coverage? Well, that's buried in your insurance company's website. In my case, that would be United Healthcare. So I log into my UHC account, click on Coverage and Benefits, then Plan Documents and Resources. I'm looking for three specific PDFs. And scrolling down, I find the section Annual Notice of Change Documents, which you know, feels right. And here's the first one, the 2026 Annual Notice of Changes. I'm going to open it and download the PDF to my computer as a first step. Now, you might ask, why can't I just link directly to it? Because Notebook LM can't access secure member portals. Privacy and all that stuff, you know. Next, I'm going back to Notebook LM, where I upload the annual notice of changes. 
that document allegedly contains all relevant changes to my policy. But <laughs> I'd like to verify that it's complete and correct. So I need some other supporting documents. To that end, I'm going back to the website and to make sure I have the most recent data for my current policy, I'm looking for the latest update to the evidence of coverage from 2025. I want to compare that to the proposed evidence of coverage from 2026. That'll give me something to compare to confirm that annual notices of change document. Now, I now follow the same procedure and select and download those two PDF documents to my computer and then upload both to Notebook LM. This whole process takes maybe five minutes. It's a pretty small price for clarity. Now, if you're with Aetna, Humana, or whoever else, you'll need to hunt down the same documents on their site. The names might be slightly different, of course, but you're looking for change notices and coverage details. Your 2025 plan, what's happening in 2026, and what the new plan actually covers. Once all three of those PDFs are loaded in Notebook LM, that's when the real work begins. All right. Now we've got five sources loaded into Notebook LM. Time to ask the question that actually matters. What's changing between my current 2025 plan and what they're proposing for 2026? So I'm challenging it with the prompt, summarize what's new in my proposed 2026 healthcare plan compared to 2025. Okay, Notebook LM thinks for a second, then gives me this wonderful summary page. And looking at this, well, my premium isn't moving, still zero dollars, that's good news. Aha, <laughs> but when I look at the table of specific changes, I get the news I had dreaded. Look at this change column. I see nothing but the word increase in every row. Wow, that's inflation, I guess. I'm scrolling through row after row of increases and then some more explanations of changes. I need to analyze this, but I'm pretty overwhelmed with all of this information. I'd really like a more concise explanation that I can use to figure out what I should do. But before I lose this bit of Grim Reaper shock, I think I better hit that save to note button below the response. Remember, if I close the browser or hit that refresh button above the text, all of this is lost. And since I may want to dig into this data later, I'm also going to save this note as a source. That moves it to the column on the left, and I can select it for a different prompt. So, now with just that document selected as a source, I now enter the prompt, summarize the overall cost increases compared to 2025. Focus only on concrete cost changes. Include percentage increases or decreases where possible for premiums, out-of-pocket maximums, co-payments, and Part D drug coverage. Summarize in two to three concise paragraphs suitable for a quick financial overview to decide whether changing plans is necessary. I've really got Notebook LM thinking hard now, just waiting for an answer. Okay, first off, my maximum out-of-pocket, MOOP, for in-network visits increases from $5,600 annually to $6,700. That's almost a 20% jump. Great. Hospital visits go from $335 to $550 per day. That's a neat 65% increase. <laughs> and special office visits increase from $35 to $60 of a minor 71% jump. So here's my bottom line. Although my plan premium isn't changing, my co-pays, deductibles, and out-of-pocket costs are doubling in many cases. This is the kind of information that matters when you're deciding whether to switch plans or stick with what you have. So I'm going to save this as a note because I know I'll need this comparison later. Click Save to Note and Notebook LM creates a permanent record of this analysis. Now, here's what we've accomplished in a short time. We've got an AI that reads our plan documents, highlights what changed, and explains it like a calm friend instead of a call center menu. No hold music and no... Your call is very important to us. Just answers. Now, given this year's changes to Medicare insurance, where there will be many of us looking for better options, let's talk about a different scenario. What if your Medicare Advantage plan gets canceled? While getting a cancellation notice feels terrible, it might actually be an opportunity. If you're currently locked into a Medicare Advantage plan, I've heard cancellation gives you a special window to switch back to original Medicare and Medigap 
without the usual restrictions. But I need to make sure that that's true. So I'm going to select just the Medicare Handbook 2026 as my source. That should have the official rules on this. And here's my prompt. My wife's Medicare Advantage plan was canceled. I saw that in this situation, she may be able to switch to original Medicare without any cost increase or medical exams. Is that correct? Please explain how this works, what special enrollment rules apply, and what steps she would need to take. Hit send and let Notebook LM dig into the government handbook. And here comes the answer. When a Medicare Advantage plan gets canceled, there are indeed special rules that kick in. You're entitled to switch coverage under what they call a special enrollment period. This is different from the normal open enrollment period that everyone uses. The key benefits? No late enrollment penalty if you sign up for original Medicare during the special enrollment period. No medical exams required for enrollment. And here's the big one. You get special rights to buy certain Medigap policies within 63 days after your plan coverage ends. Not only Medigap, insurers can reject you or charge you more based on your health. During this window, they can't. Now, there are two enrollment periods mentioned here. The standard open enrollment period runs October 15 to December 7. But because her plan is leaving Medicare, Angela also has a special enrollment period that extends until the last day in February. That gives her extra time to make a decision outside the usual timeline. So it does seem to be true. And honestly, I'm a little mad that my plan wasn't canceled. Angela gets options I don't have. But I have to say this clearly. In a situation like this, I will definitely talk to an insurance agent and not just rely on AI. The stakes are too high to wing it based on a chat bot alone. Get professional advice. Remember, you always have to validate AI's answers. So here's what we've covered today. You can use AI to understand your Medicare paperwork, compare plans side by side, and make informed decisions without spending three hours on hold listening to smooth jazz while someone tells you your call is very important to them. Notebook LM reads documents you can't face reading yourself. Now, if only Notebook LM could explain why my premiums stayed the same, but my benefits went down, maybe that'll be the next AI update. Along with a feature that automatically files appeals when my claim gets denied for, quote, reasons, unquote. Now look, at my age, I've been through enough Medicare enrollment periods to know that this stuff is deliberately confusing. But AI levels the playing field. It doesn't replace expert advice, but it makes you smart enough to know what questions to ask when you do talk to an expert. A couple things before we go. If you want to see how to get audio or video summaries from your Notebook LM reports, Notebook LM can turn your documents into a podcast-style conversation between two AI hosts. It's wild. And surprisingly useful when you're too tired to read another PDF. By the way, if you found this helpful, share it with a friend before they sign up for something they don't need. Medicare enrollment season is stressful enough without making bad decisions because you didn't understand the paperwork. We teach this kind of stuff to people like us, professionals over 55, who want to understand AI without the hype or the jargon. If that sounds like you, please give us a like, subscribe, and check out the links below. Also, if you try this out, let us know how it worked for you. Any surprises or epiphanies you'd care to share? Tell us about it in the comments. Until next time, read the fine print, or better yet, let AI read it for you. Take care and stay informed.